simplify the expression, the square root of 2 times the cubed root of 5. Now notice that our indices are not the same. We have a square root, we have a cubed root. So we can't just multiply these radicand values. But we can write these in an exponential form. The square root of 2 is 2 to the 1 half power. The cubed root of 5 is 5 to the 1 third power. Now, as a next step, I'm going to look at those exponents and I'm going to get a common denominator with those. A common denominator for 2 and 3 is 6. So let's write this as 2 to the 3 sixth times 5 to the 2 sixth. Now, we can group our 2 and 5 together. I'm going to write this as 2 to the 3rd times 5 squared, all raised to the 1 sixth power. So we brought that 1 sixth power out. Now that 1 sixth is a sixth root. So we can write this as now the sixth root of 2 to the 3rd times 5 squared. Okay, we've got them under the same radical. Let's take care of those exponents. 2 to the 3rd is 8. 5 squared is 25. Let's multiply those together and write this as the sixth root of 200. Now that's a simpler form. So the simplest uh, form of the square root of 2 times the cubed root of 5 is the sixth root of 200.